So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of favored and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just going to trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. Oh, I need Lord. you to help me. God damn it. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys, they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. Oh, that's good. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But... It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Ah, boy. I have just about it. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Archie. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Fantastic. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. I didn't know I was a dynamite expert. Very good. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. I better not be one of those loose ends later. He said quick. Do it quick, scarf man. Oh, we're gonna get in a whole lot of trouble on this one. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. Quick now, Arthur. Everyone into position. Oh. My spotter will let us know when they're near. Do I have to detonate it? They're coming now. Hot oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. All right, all right. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay.
Right. Put your hands up. You surround it. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! God damn it, why is it always this? Your father won't be happy about this. Watch your hands. There's another patrol in the Hold your ground! Come on. This is bad. Look out, you started this. We can't keep saying we you started this when we dynamited them. This time you pay for what you've done. We didn't want this. You pushed us to this. You damn fools, it's the army! Any one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Oh, boy. Now, we have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. All right, one corpse at a time here. I have a bad feeling about this. We said nobody would be killed. It's done now. If Colonel Faber found out it was us, and so be it. You try talking. We should get out of here soon, though. I agree. Don't forget what these men did to uh, our that's not what I want to do. Which one's my inventory again? No. What did I just pick up? Okay, no, I already did this. I picked up a document, but... Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Oh, there we go. The army's here. It's over. There's too many of us. They have a fucking cannon. This is a lot of men. You think you're helping those savages? You're finishing them. They'll hang you all. I'm trying to flank them, Arthur. We'll shoot you some space. Yes! We need to take out that cannon! Up the hill! The cannon! Take out the spotter, Arthur! Right back at him! You want to fight for them? You die like them! Goddamn cannons! Yeehaw. 
<sighs> Where's Peta? Oh. They're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... Oh, shit, there's more cannons. We should go. Where's Eagle Flies? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is going to be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We got to leave. Now! Oh, boy. What about Eagle Flies? We got to go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Riding hard, man. We're riding hard. Let's go. As hard as I can get it. Let's go. Sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Stupid. Let's see if we can lose them down here. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I guess not. Get behind something, Arthur. I'm a fucking damn. That ain't nice. Uh. Let's go, then. God damn it, Dutch. Worst plan in the world. Okay, I need a faster gun than. Riders of the storm. There we go. I'm losing a lot of points here, man. Yeah, not in the right place, that's for sure. If you tell me I have to jump in water, I'm gonna be so mad. What do you mean to hold them off? Holy shit! Let's go, let's go, let's go. You don't know who you're dealing with. There's too many on your back. This is a losing battle, Arthur. Oh, we gotta do something. Surrender? I don't know. I'm done. Bye. I'll hold them. Dead end. This is it. This. Well, Arthur. Guess we're jumping. Put your hands up. I said, put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Oh my god. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Oh Low my captain. god. Keep your hands up and come here. I'm not surrendering though. I know he has a plan. Come here. We uh 
We can't do that. Your man. Oh, the fuck happened? Okay, I guess I have to surrender, maybe? Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Oh, come on, now. I guess I have to surrender. It's not good. It's not good. This was not good right from the beginning. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Oh, it was just to put up my hands. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Those men they killed... They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend. Here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Oh, my hat. This is not going to end well. Woo, lordy. Can I swim? It looks like he's doing something swimming outside of the water. Oh my god, I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. No, the water is because I that's the reason I got tuberculosis, you know? You're okay. What a mess. I know. But a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send him. Where is he? <laughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are going to make it, brother. I can oh, feel boy. it. Oh, boy. Faith, Arthur. Oh, Faith. Have faith. Have faith. He's got a plan. He's got everything, this man. That was a long ride. Sadie. You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Look, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do God this. God damn it. I'm going to go help Sadie. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you can help me with. Abigail. Jack. John. Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean it. Help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. 
Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? We'll go with Sadie. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. Ready, Coconut? Let's go. Oh, thank Christ we don't have to ride all the way over there. That's the only thing I that I, I find annoying after a while is like the... Uh, the traveling is a bit annoying. Hey. What's going on? I think there's a bunch of them in there, mostly drunk. One of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Sure. How are we doing this? We're just going in. <clears throat> okay, then. Okay, I guess, uh... It's a big... Of course I let... Oh, no, my horse is right there. Take it from there. Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Is that a woman? Jesus. Who the hell is that lady? Oh, my God. It's damn old Driscoll, boys! It's over now. That was a bad shot. Oh, just jump up there. End of the room. I don't like fighting, but I'm good at it. Why the fuck? Oh, shit. Got him. I took a couple more shots than I wanted. Uh, just peek. Sadie, you're gonna get killed in there. Sadie, you in here? Of course, I can't run and she's gonna die.
All right. All right. You okay? Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. God damn. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. Sounds like a good idea. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, Jesus Christ, eh? I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> All right. Hello. Here I am, as promised. He has earned Chief's friendship. Perhaps he means well. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's gone Honor out trying to find the... medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of the vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Come on. Get on your horse. Okay. We're going. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. It better not be too far. So this Colonel Favor, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation. Maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm 
I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much yeah, worse. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. No. Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. We're going far. Dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Ah, damn it. Got my guns again, but I shouldn't need them. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. And all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. God damn it. You're going too fast for me, son. Come on, horse. God damn it, coconut. Oh, there you are. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Ah, fuck. God damn it. <sighs> so get on the horse right away. Just fucking not doing it right here. Don't buck me.
Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. <laughs> we could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Oh, dear God. Josiah? I, Fine um, art of conversation. Was, uh, leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. You're alive. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Well, let's go. All right, let's ride or die. Probably boat. I'm back, girl. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I hope so, too. Sorry, Charles. Thank God I don't have to ride all the way over there.
I think we're going to Fort Wallace or somewhere close to there. This way. Hey there. We'll just move on the way, Charles. God damn it. Look, I look because of you I hit the tree. Do this. Probably going to be some killing involved. <sighs> Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. You know, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr... Um... Chief. Yes, uh, Mr... I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh... I'm sure they do. Jesus Christ, this Listen, is not starting out well. We're all Americans here. And we want an outcome. But quite frankly... Quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah, I'm probably gonna knock out. Everybody's gonna be dead, and no, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed, or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe. He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like, because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy, or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. <laughs> Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. 
Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. You won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. I'll kill you. Don't be dumb. Open fire! Out this way, come on! Let's go! dead. Not gonna happen. Where's uh where's that ego buddy? I guess he's gone. Rain's fall. Forgot his name. Really? 
What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Time to go. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. All right. Meet me at the reservation. Uh, we're going back to the reservation again. Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, yeah. never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> we're far away from a hospital. What's wrong? Come on. Uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. you don't I don't remember where this lady's from. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid, and my daddy, well, I watched him die, and it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. All right. Goodbye, sister. 